Ladies and gentlemen, primates. 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 Right? Is that is that right? Yeah, sure, we'll go. With Elevator it. annex. I was actually thinking about making a reference to uh, do you remember that really old? Um, I was a little bit worried there wasn't gonna be anything there. <laughs> Good job. You remember uh, watching Tiny Toons way back in the day, right? Yeah. Oh, there was something up there. Shoot. But I was I saw that the stage was named Elevator Antics. I was thinking, uh, you remember when uh, like Baby Plucky was mm -hmm. uh, he would flush things down the toilet and he yeah. said stuff like something uh, go down the hole. Yeah. yeah. Elevator go down the hole. Yeah. I was gonna say that and I was like, no one's gonna remember that. I don't. I think I'm pretty sure Tiny Toons is older than about ninety percent of our audience. Yeah. I'm not, oh God. So. That's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it's always right before the barrel. And right before the DK barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Careful, please. Fucking bees. <laughs> Ooh. Also, was it? Ah. Oh. Well. Worst part is those are like my favorite snakes. They're like the deadliest snake, but still why is that your favorite snake? I don't know. They're just pretty, and it's got to be the it's got to be the deadly version because the king snake version, like the colors aren't as sharp for me. See, so my favorite snake, I think it's a python. Is that the one that has like the ooh Jesus, the the little like upward curved mouths, like the puppy mouths? Some, yeah. I think those are my favorite snakes. I miss my red tail boa that I used to have. You had a red tail boa. Yeah, my first boss at GameStop, she actually gave me one because she was moving and couldn't keep it. And uh, it, it just so happened to share a name with a, a gun that my grandmother used to own. What? Um, my dad was walking home from school one day when he was a kid, caught a black <laughs> racer with his bare hands, because the people on my my dad's side of the family are just like snake wranglers by trade, I guess. Okay. Uh, my sister inherited that. I did not. But, um... <clears throat> So he, he catches this black racer, walks it home, then goes to school. Well, his mom, who was terrified of snakes, my grandmother, mind you, uh, okay. sees she this snake in his in his top drawer of his of his clothes, and immediately goes to her room and gets Lily, her uh, revolver, <laughs> named a re okay, and proceeds to unload every bit of ammo she has in the entire house into my dad's dresser. Kills oh. the hell out of the snake, but also ruins my dad's clothes. So. Just started firing. Oh, oh that's the, not a rope. That's not a rope. I don't know. But uh, yeah, and well. it just so happens that that was the name of the red tail boa that my friend gave me. <laughs> and when I had to move, I gave it to my dad because, like, that snake and my dad had a weird rapport. Okay. She had this thing where she would wrap around, not like around your neck, but more like lay on like your shoulders. Like she would sort of relax. Yeah, around. on your shoulders, not all the way around your neck, but like a U shape on the back, like you were wearing her like one of those uh, little neck pillows. Okay. And uh, she would just kind of pulse, so you would just be getting this really nice, cool neck rub <laughs> from a cold-blooded animal. Oh my goodness. Unless you had long hair, and then she decided that that's where she needed to make her nest, and she would just crawl into the hair and just oh, wrap no. up in long hair. She's like, yep, I'm safe. This is my happy place. Oh god. That's it's okay. She only did it with people that were comfortable with her. It was a very weirdly, like, in tune to other people kind of snake. Ooh. Where's the... Oh, there it is. Oh god, there's more. Okay, it's fine. Things just fine. And just before Katrina, the snake got loose at my parents' house, uh -huh. and uh, the mouse population declined significantly <laughs> before oh my they moved. I think the snake eventually got back into the wild after the storm, but you know. I imagine. Jesus. I imagine so. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the? Yo, oh, crap! Oh, crap! But I imagine a boa would do well. Yeah, it's, I it's don't... big enough to not have to deal with the king snakes that are around here. I don't really think it's hurting for safety. Yeah. Of course, my yard's got moccasins and king snakes, so I do have to put powder down because the king snake's cool. Moccasins. Where was the so platform? Cool. I think it despawned because you jumped just high enough. Oh dang it! All right. And those that just kind of disappeared ah. into the. <laughs> just like that, I was uh, doing a, a a repeat of what you did. Good job. You that was that was the uh, the instant replay. Yeah. That was the play by play. Yep. Fantastic. I think there might be. Mm. Let me set that down for a second. All right, knock him out. Because I want to say somewhere there's a secret, but I don't know where. I don't think it's down there. <laughs> You're just like get rid of this one. Like, fuck it. This is my new. Oh shoot. I just assumed that oh. would be there, Ooh. so you could throw it to get rid of those guys. Ooh. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, I don't think, think it's there. What? Think that's where the secret is? No, because usually when I put it down as it donkey, it'll it would break. Yeah. Okay. 
So I'm pretty sure there's nothing. I'm just gonna bring this for... This is my security barrel. I need this for, uh, for safety. Put it right next to your security biscuit. Well, I guess that's over with. Oh, the, uh... <laughs> what was it? No, it was a security muffin. Yeah. It's just it was... a barrel full of security muffins. How did I not... Okay, you know what? I'm... Yeah, don't question the parts where you it's survive. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. The jank was on your side that day. I'll take it. Goodness. I swear, some... The sometimes old the little sometimes. ones are bigger threats than the big ones. Yeah. <sighs> well, also, because I don't think the big ones actually spit at you. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna jump for this one. I'm not gonna risk it despawning. Oh boy! Whoa. Mm. I don't like the leaps of faith in this level. Yeah. This isn't as well designed as some of the other levels. Oh god! Okay! Alright. Is there anything down here? Gotta hope so. Okay! <laughs> like, it's sinking quite a bit. Man, it's gonna be... It's better drop us right by the exit. Real awkward if uh, there's no... Shit. Well, we got one extra life. It's fine. Okay. Alright. <laughs> right by the exit. Too. It's gonna be real awkward if uh, I drop down there and there's, no <laughs> there's nothing there except death. Poison Pond? I forgot. Oh. No, I don't remember it. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, wait, is this the one? I was I was trying to remember if this was one of the, um, if this was the stage in the second game where, like, there would be something wrong with the water, hmm. and you'd have to, uh, like, stomp on the seal, and he would do something to it to change it. Like, um, you played the second one. Yeah, no, good. not not really, actually. Really? Yeah. So I mean, I like Donkey Kong Country, but the follow-ups, like, I, I was poor, so like, I had like five Super Nintendo games. <laughs> oh, okay. So there were a couple where like, the yeah. um. Oh shoot! I remember now. And then once it came to emulation, it's like these games never ran on emulators early on because the the extra chips that were needed just weren't being emulated yet. So I was stuck emulating like Mega Man. You realize I get extra goosey any time you mention emulation on this show. It's not going to get us arrested just talking about it. I mean, <sighs> not to mention, I'm referring to things I did 25 years ago, so the statute of limitations is way gone on that. I know, but still. I still I still kind of worry that, like, somehow, like, police are going to come kicking down my door because I looked at a dirty mag when I was, like, 13 or 14. Maybe you should keep I start, your mags clean. I start glaring over at the door just to be on the safe side, like... Ugh. The only re the only time I ever got Shit. in trouble for it and Shit. caught was when I was crossing state lines with it when I was doing stuff for people. What, and Dirty Mags? Yes, Dirty Mags. No, uh, when I was doing piracy stuff for people across state lines. Oh. That's when I got in trouble. Otherwise, nobody really cares. <laughs> Still, yeah. Uh, yeah, I put an ad on Craigslist and... Well, yeah, that's, that's probably... Yeah, no, that was dumb. Thing. It was really dumb of me. Like, hey, this is me advertising me doing something illegal. Yeah, and uh, Microsoft sent me a letter. As well, they maybe should. <laughs> I hadn't even touched a Microsoft system. so <laughs> What? I, yeah, my reputation preceded me, and that was my sign that I needed to just start doing it casually for fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good decision. Yeah, back when I used to be able to put Windows 98 on a PSP, you know? Something down here? <laughs> oh. But, bananas. But yeah, so I, I'm also well versed in the rules and laws and stuff, and I promise you, just chatting about it or even using ROMs isn't going to get you in trouble. It's one, profiting from them, two, redistributing them, and three, uh, like doing modifications to hardware that is in violation of copyright. Like, uh, if I were to use like a Game Boy Advance emulator that used a reverse engineered version of Nintendo's BIOS file. That would be bad, but if it had its own homegrown BIOS that wasn't using reverse engineered tech, it's totally legal and completely fine. You know, every time you start throwing legal battle at me, I just remember <laughs> that you're not a lawyer, and maybe I should take that advice with a grain of salt. I got the advice from a lawyer when I got that letter. <laughs> Basically, the, the things that I was doing that I shouldn't be doing were, late, were spelled out for me quite well, and I made sure that my hobby could stay a hobby without, you know, being a problem. And um, it's all DMCA stuff, too. Like, if, if anything I'm doing is a violation of Digital Millennium Copyright, they tell me to stop, and I stop, and all is good. It's The thing is, is it's designed to protect things in the first few weeks of their release, like when they're profitable. But right. stuff that's no longer profitable, like, you know, if I'm emulating a copy of Caution Seaman on the Sega Dreamcast, Sega is not making a dime off of that game anymore. If they were, I would be buying it, because I love that game and would totally was, buy it. It was genuinely pretty good. Yeah. 
And that's the other thing. I only emulate stuff I literally cannot get a hold of without lining the pocket of some greasy scalper somewhere. You know? I'm not gonna pay somebody $1,700 for a copy of Panzer Dragoon Saga that might be a replica. Yeah. Uh, because you can now make, like, really good Saturn game replicas. I'll pay 50 bucks to somebody on Etsy for one, because, you know, that's work put in on their part, but that's also them letting me know, hey, this is a replica of this game. You have to do some legwork to make it work. Yeah. You know? But... If someone's like, hey, this is a legit thing, you know. And it turns out to not be? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I didn't mind buying a $5 replica cartridge of an N64 game off a Chinese website because it, it advertised it as a replica, you know? Okay. They weren't like, this is a totally authentic, entirely brand new sealed in box copy of Mega Man 64. No. Well, my my <laughs> favorite is when they say, like, 100% authentic, real, and then, like, in very tiny print, in parentheses, Chinese version. Yeah, authentic replica. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite, <laughs> authentic replica. Like, wow, cause I, I first came across that phrase, uh, the year of the dolphin, uh, over at uh, SeaWorld. Uh, they had a bunch of, like, animal fossils, and I noticed that the fossil Ch said authentic replica. Auth what? And it was just made of rubber. <laughs> authentic <laughs> replica. Yep. Okay. Okay. So maybe I guess they, they use the real Ch thing for the mold? Maybe? I'm trying to think how you would interpret that, but... That might just be it. I feel like this was actually... Ah, darn it. I feel like this was actually my least favorite minecart stage. There's only two. Yeah. This is the one I actually liked. <laughs> the first one I have... The first one gave me fits when I was a kid. This one I actually had no problem with. I think it's just the fact that I could jump from the cart it's... How? <laughs> I'm not laughing that you died. I'm laughing at the context of you talking how? about how you're like, this one I can do, and then it like literally Yeah, broke. I can do it when I don't magic my way through a minecart. Yeah. yeah. What the, the hell? The game was just being a jerk that you, okay, right, I should probably jump and kill that, not duck under it. Yeah, there's no ducking in a minecart. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's not a thing. No duck, only... Uh, buzzard? Only buzzard. Only buzzard. There's no... uh. Would it be in bad taste to make a no Russian joke? Actually, I feel like that's probably in bad taste all the time. <laughs> now that I think about Oh no! Close okay. enough! <laughs> you did it, you survived. Yeah. I don't know how... I forgot how I'm supposed to get... Uh. Okay, it's fine. Did it, Kong. Kong... I'm still... Whoa! Okay! Alright. Uh, Scooter! Get the hell out of my... Also, why are they just sitting in those? I don't know! It's like... I was, uh, I was I was playing a game recently, and you have to go through this really insane sequence of platforming to get to this one area. And as soon as you land, this woman that's also in that area is like, how'd you get here? And your character just looks at the other man and goes, how'd you get here? <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh. Oh. Unnecessary there risks, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, why not? It's fine. I know what I'm doing, mostly. I handle, uh... Didn't even get an extra life out of it. I've made my way toward an extra life. Excuse okay. you. Why are you gonna short sell all my achievements? Oh, is this the light one? Yes. Dude, I, this was another one when I was a kid. I used to blaze through it that I likely won't be able to do so anymore. Uh, I remember this stage being problematic for me. Oh, you might want to put a flashing lights warning at the beginning of this episode. Is, is this enough to, to be It can be for some people. And I know with my eyes, like, sudden flashes can be worse than repeated flashing. It's fine oh, for, for me real? right now. Yeah, I'm not having any problems or anything, but I would definitely put a, a flashing lights warning at the beginning of this episode. Okay, all right. Yeah, maybe maybe this episode I'll I'll put, like, one of those warnings, maybe put a timestamp saying, hey, skip to this point. Yeah. Maybe. Hi, everybody who came from the, uh, <laughs> the warning. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I don't think I should risk that. No. Maybe not risk We that. don't really need the fish right now. We always need the fish. Fish is delicious. Yeah, oh swordfish is uh, becoming more and more endangered every day. Maybe you should just leave him in his natural habitat leave him alone. Oh, well it sounds like it's becoming more and more delicious to me! Alright, we got we got tires. Alright, fantastic. It's fine. You know that redfish, one of, nope. the, uh, one of the more popular fish down in this area? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was actually considered a trash fish to a lot of people back in the day until someone created blackened redfish and then it was nearly fished to extinction. What? Yeah, that's now that's why there are now rules on how you can fish for uh, redfish. Okay. 
Yeah. In fact, my dad would uh, illegally keep two small redfish and uh, just tell people, no, it's not redfish, it's a, it's a, it's a spot tail croaker. Dang, so we have gone from flaunting emulation to just calling out your dad on his illegal activities. Yeah, fish poaching? Oh yeah, absolutely. You are... You if are it makes you feel any you better... You are skirting the law today, son. Makes you feel any better. Years later, he uh, caught a stingray, and he removed the spike because the spike can grow back on right. the stingrays, and he throws it back. He, he also was showing this other kid, like, what the spike was and how it worked, just, just doing the my dad thing where he's like... Bill Nye, the animal guy. Right. <laughs> at people. Oh, God. And, like, 30 minutes later, he puts his hand down on the edge of the the railing and accidentally impaled his hand on the... Drop straight down. Drop. Oh. You want me to drop down? I can do it. Go for the, the banana, yeah. Because I remember this. Oh, okay. All right. And right as he is, like, pulling the, the poison spine out of his hand, the kid's like, way to go, Steve. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. For real, though? Yep. God damn it. Ugh. Was it, at the time, was it a too soon thing, or...? Uh, it was about two, three years after it happened. Eh, that's I mean, fine. to some it's still too soon. Right, like but... Like an science teacher who was really obsessed with him. Oh, was he? Yeah. I think you got them all. I did. Good job. I'm so proud of you. I like that bonus game. Do you want a big smooch on the butt cheek? No. Okay. <laughs> Well, what are you doing? Uh, doing the thing. I was, I was gonna say, that's actually something that, uh, only, uh, well. Wow. See, looking for, uh, bonus stages as Diddy is a bit easier, because you're already holding it right in front of you. Oh, okay. Only Donkey has to actually put it down, calmly. Well, dang! Language? Goodness. Sorry. Dad Gummit. Thank you. Karn Sarnet. Man, have a little fucking decency, why don't you? <laughs> Alright, I think I can get it. I think I can get it. Just a couple fat dudes. Get rid of them. Alright. Oh god, I almost jumped right for the, the rope when it wasn't there. There you are, you rascal. Hi, I'm a rascal. <laughs> I don't seem to know how to land on platforms. You little rapscallion. No, it's fine. Look, you're... I mean... <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's no, no biggie. There, there's the guys that killed me. All right, got him. I think I'm still a little bit worried. Okay, so let's just go ahead. I'm gonna skip that because I don't care. Is there anything? Actually, no. I do need to hit that because I want to see the if barrel, there's. Yeah. Yeah, I want that barrel. Just hit this. There we go. Done. Did it. Give me the keg. I'm trying to think. Do I need the keg for anything or? We're not hosting an intergalactic kegger here. Ryan. <laughs> what? I have no idea. Oh, Jesus! Whoa. Wow. Alright, so they brought friends. Did it. Hey, uh, look. I, I bet you I, it was right there. I bet you it was right there. I mean, I feel like the universe is trying to give us a sign. Yeah, maybe. I get the feeling it might have been right around there. Alright. So what do you think? Boss stage next time? Boss dumb drum next time. Don't, don't sound too confident, Brian.